Welcome to our video on tear down and rebuild of the auto valve dispense gun. In this video we're going to go through gun and manifold tear down, air cylinder tear down, air cylinder rebuild, reinstalling seals and o-rings, and gun and manifold reassembly. Refer to the manual for a list of seal kits and replacement parts. And here is a list of tools recommended to complete this operation. The following teardown procedure shows a non-recirculating valve assembly. The process is nearly identical, except where noted. Remove gun handle by unscrewing the two 1024 by half inch bolts using a 532nd hex wrench. Remove mixer retaining nut by hand or with a wrench. Using a 5/32 hex wrench, remove the four 1024 by 3 inch long bolts from the manifold. Remove the manifold and set aside. It's good to keep a rag available for any fluid leakage. Remove the O-rings from the manifold. This step would involve removing a total of four 90 degree elbow fittings on the recirculating gun due to the extra valve body. Using an 11 16 wrench, loosen nut on 90 degree elbow fitting. Using a 9 16 wrench, remove the 90 degree elbow fitting from the manifold. Repeat the process for the other side. The elbow fitting should be cleaned and bagged or labeled separately as A and B to avoid cross-contamination. Using a 1 8 hex wrench, remove the two quarter by two inch stainless steel shoulder bolts from seat plate. Carefully pry and remove seat plate from valve body. Remove the old seals from seat plate. Using a 532nd hex wrench, remove two 1024 by 2 and 3 quarter recessed bolts from the back of the air cylinder. The next step would involve removing the two valve bodies, front block and then rear block. The process to loosen blocks and remove seals and o-rings is the same for both. Carefully break the seal between the valve body and tie plate using the pry notches. Use a non-metallic wedge or prying device to separate. Apply slow, even pressure to avoid bending the valves. Remove old seals and o-rings from the valve body. Repeat the process for the other side. Carefully pry and remove tie plate from air cylinder. And remove the old seals.
Remove solvent flush valve assembly from the manifold. If your manifold does not have a solvent flush valve assembly, remove the plug in that port. The part circled can now be soaked in SC106 safety solvent. Do not soak the air cylinder. Place the parts in solvent to remove stubborn residue. The length of soak time is subject to the condition of the gun parts. After soaking, clean any residue and debris from parts before the following rebuilding process. Teardown and rebuild of the air cylinder is optional. If the O-rings and bushings are in good condition, you can skip this step. Using a 532nd hex wrench, remove the two quarter 20 by half inch long screws on the back of the air cylinder. To remove the air cylinder back plate, twist the nut and pull backwards. Carefully press both shafts to remove piston from air cylinder. Remove the old O-rings from both piston and back plate. Remove the old brass bushings. A screw extractor is a useful tool to do this operation. Remove the old O-rings from the air cylinder body. At this point, we need to begin rebuilding the auto valve dispense gun. We're going to go through air cylinder rebuild, reinstalling the seals and O-rings, and gun and manifold reassembly. Install two O-rings to the air cylinder body. Then, install both brass bushings. Then install an O-ring on the piston groove. Apply all-purpose grease APG number 2 to the O-ring before installing piston. Grease should also be applied to the piston shafts. Carefully push piston back into the air cylinder body. Install O-ring onto back plate. Apply grease to O-ring before reinstalling back plate to body. Install the two quarter 20 by half inch long screws to mount back plate. Use a 5-32nd hex wrench to tighten. Place two lip seals over the shafts. Be sure to install with the springs forward as shown. Then locate the tie plate. Apply a small amount of grease in the pockets. Slide tie plate over shafts and carefully snap onto the seals. Locate the valve body. Arrange A and B labels up and to the front shown here. Apply grease to grooves and pockets, then install the two O-rings. Place two more lip seals over the shafts. Again, be sure to install with the springs forward. Slide valve body over shafts and carefully snap onto the seals. Locate the valve body. 
arrange A and B labels up and to the front shown here. Apply grease to grooves and pockets, then install the two O-rings. Place two more lip seals over the shafts. Again, be sure to install with the springs forward. Slide valve body over shafts and carefully snap onto the seals. Locate seat plate and apply grease to pockets. Install the last two lip seals with springs facing outward as shown. Apply grease to grooves and pockets on front of valve body. Install two O-rings. Place seat plate over shafts against valve body. Install and hand tighten two quarter by two inch stainless steel shoulder bolts. Install two 1024 by two and three quarter inch recessed bolts to air cylinder. Use a 530 seconds hex wrench to tighten. Use a 1 8 hex wrench to tighten shoulder bolts on seat plate. Now locate the manifold. Apply grease to the O-ring grooves and then install the two O-rings. Attach manifold to seat plate with the A and B letters facing upward. Insert the four 1024 by three inch bolts into the manifold. Tighten bolts with a 532nd hex wrench. Place gun handle on the bottom of manifold assembly. Fasten with two 1024 by half inch bolts and tighten with a 530 seconds hex wrench. Inject APG number two grease through the two grease fittings until it overflows out the side. Clean off any excess grease. Reinstall any other fittings you remove during teardown. And now your gun is ready to be put back into service.